Rachel Lawson's The Magicians. Death in the Dreamscape. No one should die in the dreamscape. Thank the Lord Alexander Jr. was at the crossroads of being awake and falling asleep. As his partner in his stage magic act, Dreams and Nightmares, Zack was about to put him into the zigzag man apparatus during the evening performance. Hey, sleepy. Wake up, said Zack, sensing lads were tired. I'm so tired, I answered. I'll try to stay awake. I don't want to hurt you, said Zack. I don't want to be hurt either, said Lance, climbing into the box. The moment he went in the box, he fell asleep, mentally. He awoke screaming. When Zack inserted the first blade, startled and worried, Zack, bring down the curtains, Zack shouted. And the curtains fell. On the stage ran a gaggle of backstage staff. Are you all right, Junior? asked Zack. I'm fine. I just had a vision, said Lance. Oh, what did you see? asked Zack. A man with three eyes killing a woman in a dreamlike place. Said Lance, looking traumatized as he was being released from the stage trick by stagehands. Tell the audience the show is over, Cal, Zack told the stage manager. Okay, said the stage manager, sensing problem. Come with me, Junior, said Zack, making a worm while with beer. In front of them, they stepped in. They appeared in a strange place Lance had never seen before. He was inside a big wooden building. It looked dingy, yet ethereal. It was a wooden office resembling his grandfather's office in the afterlife. Is this the dreamscape? asked Lance. Yes, said Zack. Knocking on a door. The man who resembled him, but in an old tweed suit, wearing glasses, opened the door. Hello, Sandy, said Lance. Hello, Zack, Junior, said the Sandman. Why is Junior in the dreamscape? He's a grim reaper. They don't come here. Did he have another vision? Yes, he had a vision, said Zack. Why bring him here? Asked Zack's father, the Sandman. He saw a killer. Dream, killing a woman, said Zack. He did, said the Sandman, looking very concerned. Kill a dream, said Lance, puzzled. They are regular dreams who are infected with a virus that gives them a third eye and turns the harmless dream into a killer, said the Sandman. Oh, they are just nightmares? The Lance? No, they kill the dreamer in the dream, also in the waking world, said the Sandman. How can they kill in the waking world? Sounds like Freddy Krueger, said Lance. It does, but that's a movie. This is real. The affected dream is different. Said the fan man. How are they different? Asked Lance. The virus is caused by a version of flu. An affected reaper. He came here to visit one of my forebearers. As Sandman. The virus mutated 
into a killer virus that transforms the victim into a raper and a killer that kills in both worlds, said the Sandman. Oh, that explains the third eye. The Venusian flu gives the sufferer a third eye, said Lance. Yes, said the Sandman. What was in your vision? I saw a sleeping woman being killed by a free-eyed man in a dark room with a touch. Said Lance. Oh, that was here. In the dreamscape, it's already happened. I was working on the case in my office. Then you came in. Said the Sandman. Oh, said Zack. I'll take him back to the waking world. Yes, I can deal with it, said the Sandman. Lance was returned to the waking world. That night, Lance had a horrible dream. He saw the man killing the Sandman. He awoke screaming. Junior, are you all right? said his housemate, running into the room, seeing the sweating, shocked glance. Gabriel, I have two, see Zack. I saw Sandy being killed by a sick dream, said Lance. Lance teleported to Zack's room and woke him up. Junior, what is it? grumbled Zack. I saw a sick dream killing your dad in a dream, said Lance. Oh, we better go save him. Said Zack. They returned to the dreamscape. The Sandman was stalking the sick dream with a knife in his hand. You can't kill me, Sandman. Had the dream sensing him nearby. You won't kill again, said Sandy. The dream laughed. I will kill you, said the dream. Sandy aimed the knife at the eye in the forehead of the dream. The only way to kill it and lunged. Sandy missed it. My turn, you're dead, Sandman, said the dream, reaching out to Sandy. He closed his eyes. What's taking you? said Sandy. Open your eyes, a voice said to him. Sandy opened them. He saw Lance Senior holding a sword. Where the third eye of the dream was. The last time Sandy saw it, it had exploded and died. They had saved him. Behind Senior were Junior and Zack. We came to save you, Junior, saw you die in a vision, so we collected his dad. It's better with a sword than anyone we know. We needed a person who could kill it with a blade. To the third eye, said Zack, who hugged his dad. Senior smiled proudly at his son for saving Sandy his best friend's life.